This blender scene kept crashing every time they hit render. Most artists think it's a bug or their GPU isn't strong enough. But when one of our Octane school members sent me the file, I found the problem in under five minutes. A single modifier buried in the geometry was breaking the entire render. Turns out it's usually small overlook stuff like this that causes the biggest headaches. That's why I put together a free render crash checklist, links down below, and you walks you through exact steps that I use to prevent crashes and to optimize any scene before you hit render. I'm Patrick LeVar. I've been using Blender Octane since 2014. I've helped hundreds of others fix their scenes, troubleshoot projects, and get clean professional results without the tech headaches using Blender Octane. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I diagnosed this crash, fixed it fast, and prepared the scene for a stable, high quality final render. So you can do the same. All right, so I just downloaded your file here. Let's take a look and see why this is not rendering. I'm gonna drag your file into my Blender scene and we'll just open it up. And first thing first, I wanna see render engine. All right, you're using the path tracer. That's fine. 500 samples, 24. GI clamp is set to 1 million. First of all, I would probably set that to like 100. I would turn a down by sampling on. That's definitely gonna help with your render times. And everything else looks okay. Let's see if we can get anything in the viewport. Yep, fires up in the viewport. Cool little render there. How many cameras? We got a bunch of cameras here. Let's see quickly here. Let's take a look at some of these other views. Okay, that's cool. Nothing special there. Okay, good. So issue is you can't get a final render output. Let's go to render, render F2. Let me see if my GPU is working in the background. Cause it's not, I can hear my fans. Uh, actually, nope, GPU is not running. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely gonna, yep, it's gonna lock up. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely something going on here. All right, so then what I would do is I'm just gonna load up my scene or my setup file. And then what I'm gonna do is import your thing into my scene. I'm gonna make sure it's something in your scene. It's gonna help me dial it and figure out if it's something that's wrong with your scene. All right, so that looks like that's working. Now let's go and hit render. Same issue. So I appended your thing into my into my scene. So I'm wondering if that means it's something with the cameras. Yes, I'm just gonna bring in just the model and see if it's a camera issue. All right, so here is the actual object and I'm just gonna bring my camera in just to make sure it's not your cameras that are causing the issue. Interesting, so it's not a camera thing, it's the geometry. Again, this is gonna crash my system. So now I'm just gonna make sure Whatever your file is doing is not also going to affect my system. So I'm going to just do a quick render of something. Make sure my thing is active. Yes, my viewport is active. Okay, so my system is working. So that means it is something with your geometry. So let's bring it in again. Let's go to data nodes here. Let's see. Scattering object, scattering movable. And what I'm going to do is bring in a cube. And what I want to do is just use this to quickly see. The data so if i come over here as i set the scattering there's that okay let's go maybe down into here oh hang on i already saw a difference what do we got geometry data add custom split okay if i click back on your stuff here clear custom split data huh there's already something slightly different let's go ahead and turn that off and let's see if that does anything all right let's run that one more time nope that didn't do anything which is interesting i've never had this issue before Minimize that, open my file here in the back. Now what I'm gonna do is drag pieces in individually to find out what's causing this. Okay, let's go GZ. We've got all these little pieces here. All right, let's just grab this piece, copy it, copy object. Let's jump back to my other file. Let's paste it in. We can see it in the viewport, which is interesting. It shows in the viewport. But once we go to render the data, we don't see it anymore. All right, let's try rendering this now. Okay, boom, that worked. Now we rendered it. So this piece works fine. So that means there is an issue with a piece of geometry that's causing it. So that top piece worked. Let's grab this next piece, copy. Okay, that's working. All right, that's still working good. Yep, still rendering, everything's a-okay. Let's grab another piece here. This grill piece, the crash. And let's see what this looks like. Oh. And there it is. It's that. So, so far it might be this grill piece here that's causing issues. And this right here, digging through the, the scene, isolating pieces and finding exactly 
what's breaking the render, this is the kinds of hands-on stuff that I do to help people in our Blender Octane community. If you're stuck on a project or a scene that keeps crashing for no reason, don't try to guess your way through it. Drop your file in our community and I'll help you figure it out fast. Links down below. Yep, because it crashed. Okay. So I brought in that grill piece. I brought in this grill piece here and it stopped rendering. Let me quickly delete that just to make sure. Let's go ahead and render it and it renders. Okay, this piece here crashed it. So what's going on with this piece? Interesting. I don't know, do you have any modifiers on this here? You have a subdivision modifier. What's this smooth angle? This is red. Why is this one red? Let's just apply these first. I'm gonna go apply, apply. Looks like there might be some issue here with this subdivision. Let me just delete that and let's go apply. Let's save that. Let's try it again and it works now. Okay, so there might've been an issue now, what I'm gonna do is go back to the original file, grab that piece that we knew that had an issue. And I think it might be, I'm actually just gonna kill that really fast and let's just go ahead and render from there. No. So that piece, and it might be multiple pieces. So the next thing I would probably do is just apply all the modifiers because if it's your final render to save another file and then just apply everything, right? Modifiers, and then see this is like red. So I think that's telling me there's an issue like, See again, here's another one of those that's red. I don't know why is that, why is that red? What does that mean? Oh, uh, that it's not even active? Like if they're not even active, why do you even have them on there? Man, all this stuff should be optimized. If you're, when you, once you get, get to rendering, like the render stage, all of this should be optimized already. Like that's a good practice to do is to make sure all of this stuff should be optimized in the final render. Like you're done, clean it up. Optimization eliminates problems like that you're having like right now especially with the subdivision on here and it's not being used, like clean it up. Like what's the point? All right, let me quickly see if we're getting viewport rendering. Yes, the viewport's rendering. There is the camera view. All right, everything is saved. Let's see if we can get another render if it works now. And bada bing, bada boom, it works. That's how we solved the crash and got clean, fast renders all by tracking down one sneaky modifier. If you run into weird blender issues like this, don't guess your way through it. Download the free, free, the free render crash checklist. It'll walk you through exactly the steps to troubleshoot your scene. Links down below. If you want hands-on help like this for your own projects, come and join the Blender Octane School community. We're breaking down scenes like this every week.